from Wanamingo, JW Sula, USA. Today I'm back at Stevie's place here. We need some kind of little upgrade to the system, adding more panels or adding more modules back to the system. It's raining right now. The weather is not uh, cooperate with us, but we get done with the install before the rain started, you know, dropping. Look on the system again, you guys. Is uh be doing some kind of upgrade for well, which I didn't have on the video. So if you guys can see approximately no not approximately we have exactly ten batteries now. Six batteries on the top rack, wired in series parallel, and the other four down there, series parallel. Two batteries together makes a series of 24 volts. Mind you, it's a 24 volt system right here. We have the PEEP 24, 24 LV MSD, 60 hertz, the US version. Well, if you guys are international, um, I'm not advising you to uh, copy whatever the settings here because it's different. It's not 220 or two, 230, sorry, or 240. This is a 120. But they look similar. You know, you don't go wrong with a lot of the stuff. But the wiring and configurations are a little bit different. Because I have to bring two, three wires coming from the main breaker box and all the way here for charging each pip. I'm going to get back to you guys, folks, because this is what happened. You can see right there, we have two, three wires coming from um, the, the breaker box and the other ones, the out, going back to the sub panel and the pips right now what we ha what's going on before I show you this let me bring you back here and see the conditions cloudy this is terrible look at this me and Stevie were handling this thing it's raining so before if you guys you guys have been following our channel you see here right in the middle right there wait where's my finger right there it used to be a gap right there like a gutter and it's all filled up today so those array over there is a Kyocera 10 Kyocera then we end up having another two more that gives us a, a 12 solar modules of their wide in series parallel a six uh, six panels in a string so we have two strings of six Wired series parallel. Over there is the high tech solar modules. Those are eight modules up there. It's wired in series parallel. The top is four, the bottom is four, and parallel them to increase the voltage, increase the voltage, and parallel them add the amperage goes up. Okay? So our charging, you can see the conditions are really, really bad here. You guys have seen this and you guys can see all the stuff. It's just not good. And he did a lot of improvements we did here and we did not be on the past video. You see the trees right there. You see, we cut that tree. That tree is out, totally out. And the neighbor's tree, they trimmed that a little bit. You can see that? It's raining right now. And another trimming on the back side I will take you there and show you piggy 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 sweet he got a fake piggy there <laughs> and the piglets that's cool well this one was trimmed and you guys can see just within what three months ago look at that this thing is growing rapidly instead of having all this other stuff right here it's growing rapidly could you imagine what a tree can just do? See, we cut that one. And that one get trimmed so that we can have over there. That's kitty right there. Hey, kitty. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? You want to say hi? Hey, kitty. So, that's the man gazebo over there. So this is where Stevie normally sit down. It used to be a jacuzzi right there. 
So you took that one out, he improvised it, made it like a, a gazebo for himself. He a quiet room, he's powered with solar panels. Um, air conditioning is a 5,000 BTU air conditioning right here. It's covered right now because it started getting cold. There are no air going in there. And um, this is the house, the other side of the house. So you will see the module is going to be right up there. Sorry for the shake. I don't know if you can see it. Look how cloudy it is. Look at that. It's just terrible. Look at the trees they cut up there. So he cut this tree where I'm standing right now on the stump right here so that this side can able to, the 10, 12 panels now, because they were 10, the Kyoceras, can have more um, um, sunlight, which the stump is right, I was climbing on top of it. So this side is clear for the morning sun, because the sun, I'm taking you slowly, sorry. So... The sun comes up from this side. I'm the back. I'm now standing in the back of the stump of the uh, the uh, the tree, and the sun comes right there and rotate, rotate, rotate all the way, bang on those trees. So at uh, one point he was having some kind of issues. This is like uh, two weeks ago. Um, two weeks ago on a Sunday. He cut those trees, just trim them. Him and the neighbor got an understanding. They got the trees down so they can have some um, power. Which at noon is a shade that just rushed to the panel and covered up some of the thing for just approximately about 20 to 30 minutes to an hour. Okay? So look at the weather. It's bad. So we shut down the, the array so that we can walk on it. And now, if I can take you back to the system there, and you guys can see, these are all the logs that came, some of them. The other ones to give them away. So, we have a clear opening right now of the modules. So, they are doing pretty good, but since that, he was still facing some... Um, it's coming to winter anyway, so uh, just want to maximize the power so that uh, it can improve its efficiency on the system. So let me take you back to the the station here and see. So after we've been working on the system, we shut down the system. Oh boy, look at that! It looks so pretty. And the system was. The system was uh, shut down partially because the other ray was kicking and uh, charging the batteries and while the, the 10 Kyoceras were at rest. So now we decided to, um, the batteries were running low because since yesterday they didn't even get them all filled up. We turned the, uh, the grid, it's powering right now, so each pip is bringing about uh, is a 60 amp built-in charger in them which is a 80 amp charge controller built into it so this is almost going almost like a, an very close to an hour we charging the batteries they were sitting at uh, uh, 75 ish so uh, I told Stevie we just gotta have to crank this thing up and look at that what's coming in right now this one was pushing about 63 and this one here was pushing like 60 62 and we were bringing approximately 118 119 amp amps from the grid to compensate for the loss that um, we had last night and all the way this morning while we were working on the panels so the classic was bringing i never seen that before the classic was bringing approximately 100 and very close 120 amps i'll put the, the pictures on uh, after or before the video or after the video you guys can see with the amps that was driving in into the batteries so the whiz bank junior is still doing his job 
and see it can flash in so that means it's uh, recording everything that is uh, happening here see that flash right there so everything is running perfectly the, the air coming here one side this side here is kind of hot warm not hot and this other side here is kind of cold but it's the reverse it's circulating the air so as this one here I've never heard them uh, some people have been saying um, the peeps are noisy so Stevie and I disagree completely because we never heard these peeps into this kind of decibel so I put the camera very close that's the highest we've ever 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 heard from these peeps okay the quiet and he's running his entire house no kidding he's running his entire house on these pips and only time Stevie sometimes when he sits in there and he, he normally hear like noise like rpms like this you know he's pushing a lot of amps right Stevie that's right yeah that's how Stevie said oh let me go check it out he's gonna run and come and take a look so he's like oh boy he's a cloud edge effect so he, he likes that when the pips um, RPMs, fan RPMs kicks in kind of a little bit higher. So this is the total that we're bringing in right now. It's almost uh, filling up the batteries. It's going to be raining all day. But um, so far so good. The batteries are coming up. We're not just bring them probably to 95 or maybe if you want, you can bring them to 100%. But, you know, he doesn't want to buy the power from the power company at all. So let's see what the solar is bringing right now at this point. So let's get to that and this. So we're only bringing 112. <laughs> uh oh, I saw absorb. Yep, we're absorbing right now. That's why the current is falling because these pips were pulling over 63, 60. Well, this other one is dropping right now. One is uh, taking care of business and the other one is winding down. And with the solar compensating, it tells us that we're on absorb mode. Okay, because the batteries are almost full. We've been throwing 120 amps constantly to the batteries. So that makes the system really really efficient and we know what we did we did the right thing give you a close shot of the batteries and uh, look at the system she's pretty I love that system <laughs> look at that all properly done look at the wires I didn't give you guys the um, the full upgrade or updates what was going on the last time all with the trimming and all that stuff so everything these are the controls right here where it turns them on to right now this is a ray that's a, a, a um the peep number two the peep number one so these are the acs they're all labeled everything and they're on they're firing up so you guys can see we increase the panels to cover that this one is having now 990 watts of solar ray. This one here is having 1,000, which is a 1.280 kilowatt, which are these panels right here. That's uh, the high-tech solar modules right there. Sorry for the shake right there and back here our total is a combiner box so you get all the stickers here no smoking nothing nobody the smoke you guys can see 2270 kilowatts of solar ray right here you guys can see how everything runs live from one amingo the skies are clearing up a little bit and the trees are all dying 
which we are expecting more power for winter, you know. And Stevie here is getting ready for the winter. So you add panels there. And he's spying the Vikings are playing. <laughs> I don't. Uh, yeah, he's spying the Vikings. So this is all we have for you folks. And uh, I hope you like. And you guys been following this channel. You guys been following this install. This is the biggest improvements we already make into this. Is logging everything. Everything what's happening so check out this video I'll put a link on to that uh, video it's power bill so I'll put the bill uh, the, the link on the description below and see how this guy is uh, really really off-grid and he's really doing a um, good job and the system is performing right I'll add that into the description below okay click that that will take you to his channel right away and watch his video give him a thumbs up and like and he's the man he's the rock star and he's happy. What do you think, Stevie B? I approve ah. this message. All right. All right, folks. <laughs> Bye for now. Take care on a Sunday today.